Bye. All right, YouTube, we got another banger video for y'all. Some more straight hair. Now, you guys see my last video, and I was basically explaining how straight hair is kind of my weakness. The crazy thing is, the more straight hair I've been posting, the more straight hair clients have been coming. So, like, a lot of people in my hometown, they've been seeing these straight hair haircuts and they be like, yo, bro, you could do me, you could do me. And now most of them be asking for the same thing, but I guess they just can't find anybody that can do this properly. And I guess I'm, um, you know, one of the best options for them. So I'm going to do the same cut I did in my last client, even though personally I thought it wasn't that good. But a lot of these guys want that cut. So, you know what I'm saying? I guess it's better than... I thought it was you know I, I sometimes i'll be a little too hard on myself but if it's bringing more clients through the door you know what i'm saying i just got to keep doing what i'm doing so first thing i did was section out the top we're gonna do this little taper because his main goal was just to get bulk off the side again just like my last cut um just to get bulk off the side and that was mainly the main goal honestly he wanted a little bit off the back we barely took any off the back we just wanted to match it to the front so we're gonna talk about that once we get to the shear work but i'm basically just doing my taper steps after debulking and sectioning it off which is the lever open the one guard open two guard open then we're gonna do some clipper over comb some thinning shear work just to try to clean it up at the top and then work our way back down to the one open and then the zero close and the lever close and a little bit of detail work Now we're hitting this lineup right here, man, using my cocoa trimmers. As you can see, I'm using them because my client has a lighter skin tone, so we don't want anything to pop up like super red or super irritated. So the cocos honestly is the best option for me, okay? Like the cocos, I use the cocos on kids, I use the cocos on grown-ups. These are just the best overall trimmers um, for me. They have been the best overall trimmers for me for sure. So right now I'm using the shaver just to get the bottom of that taper as blurry as possible. Just to help add a little transition. And now on the other side we're going to do the same exact steps to try to reciprocate what we did on that other side. And honestly um, this taper is going to need some work. I'm not going to lie when y'all see it. Um, I didn't even notice it until after I filmed it. So I filmed it and when I d got done cutting hair I lowered his chair down. And I seen it and was like oh let me detail this. So. I did detail this side of the taper afterwards. I just didn't catch it on camera. Um, my client was definitely in a rush to leave. Um, I, I think something came up. I seen it on his phone. He was like, oh, snap, man. You know, but as a barber, you got to be able to read, like, body language. And you got to be able to peep, you know, what's going on around around you and your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? So I seen him look at his phone. He was like, oh, man. He was like, oh, snap. So when I got done with the cut, he was rushing out of there. But you know what I'm saying like I did I didn't want to keep him in here for too long because you know it definitely looked like he had somewhere to go. 
and I didn't know if it was an emergency or anything, so I just wanted to uh, speed up the process just a little bit. Plus, you know, I wasn't really charging him for this cut, so I don't think he would have been too mad, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get it as clean as possible and uh, get him out of there because, you know, he probably had somewhere important to go. So at the end of the day, we still got him right. But the only thing is, that I did detail this taper before he got out the chair, and the top of his hair didn't dry all the way. Um, so we did dry out the back and dry out the top. It's just the middle of his top of his head didn't dry all the way, so it was a little flat and not puffy like how the rest is going to be. But at the end of the day, I did tell him that before he left as well. So I was like, bro, when you leave, you know, when your hair dries, it's going to get a little bit more puffy at the top so it doesn't look um, so separated. But like I said, man, y'all got, you guys got to keep it real with your clients, bro. Like, most clients are understanding. They know things happen. And uh, as a barber, I feel like you have to be that like that too. Like, like I clearly read that my client has somewhere to go. So I tried to speed up the speed up the process. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's only so much you can do when you're when you have to start rushing. But at the at the at the end of the day, bro, my client was happy with his cut, and I'm pretty sure he appreciated that I got him out of there in a timely manner instead of like you know wasting time on a cut that's that he's not even paying for. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, bro. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Would y'all have did the same thing if y'all seen y'all client had like somewhere important to go, or they looked like they was tripping out a little bit? Um, y'all let me know. So now it's time for the shear work. We're just gonna do a little bit of shear work. Um, so first things first, we're gonna take the fringe off the front part. I basically just combed it all down and wet it and just made a, a guideline. And I just stopped like right above his um, eyebrows. So we're gonna pull that down and then we're gonna use that as a guide to cut the rest. So I did do this little diagonal section over this taper area just so I could try to kind of blend it a little bit. Um, we're going to do that first and then we're going to go to the front fringe area. He said he wanted it to stop right above his eyes. Um, so that's what we did. We stopped it like right above his, his eyebrow. And then when it dries, it's going to be all curly and, and poofy when it fully dries. But we didn't get to fully dry it because he has somewhere to go like I said. But at the same time, when it fully dries, he's going to see... Um, you know exactly how it looks So now getting into the shear work part he did want the back to be even with the top after making a top above his eyebrow so what we're gonna do is just part each side downwards so if i'm on that side where i'm standing now i'm going to part it downwards and then i'm going to come to the other side part it downwards and it should be a middle guideline in the middle and i'm basically going to follow the length that it already is into the back so i'm going to take that middle guideline and take it to the back of his head and make another middle guideline and i'm going to trace that guideline to the back of his head then when i create that guideline then we can move on to the back and do the shear work and match it up to that middle line by creating horizontal sections um, and when you make horizontal sections you'll see the shorter part which is in the middle so if I'm in the left part of the back of his head each section I create um, towards my fingertips would be the shorter part and that's where you cut at and if I'm on the other side where I'm at now when I create that horizontal section wherever I create it at the inside of my finger is where it's going to be the shorter part is where you're going to match that up hopefully it makes sense i know it's kind of confusing like trying to explain it with a voiceover and not talking while i'm doing it um if you guys would like to see that let me know if you guys would like to see me like do a, do a tutorial and talking while i'm actually doing it let me know but other than that i'm trying to explain it my best but like i said i'm still learning myself so listen don't 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 bash me if it's <laughs> If it's kind of hard to understand, because you know what I'm saying? We all learn to hear. We all learn to hear. 